focused on creativity. So let's talk about the exam now. It's two hours. 60% of the exam is multiple um, choice. Okay, so 100% of that multiple choice so will be taken within this two hour time period. Uh, sometime in May, there's 74 questions. The other part of your exam score comes through two performance tasks. Now, this first one is my favorite, explore the impact of computing innovations. You get at least eight hours in class to create this, and it'll be 16% of your total score. And then the second part's not so bad. It's creating an application to ideas. So you'll actually create a program, and you'll have at least 12 hours in class to do that part. And 24% of this um, will be your total exam score. Okay, so um, let's back up a little bit. I'll give you an example of a, a sample multiple choice question. If on time, display hello. Else, if absent, display is anyone there. Else, display better late than never. So this is CETO code. This is an example of uh, something you can find in programming. The question is, if the variables on time and absent both have the value false, what is displayed as a result of running the code? So I'm not going to give you the answer right now. This is day one of CSP. I just want to see if anyone can answer this correctly, just from the get-go. No worries if you can't, though. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about that first performance task. Create applications from ideas. So it says this performance task focuses on students developing computer programs and describing, that's key, describing significant aspects of the program. So you can do a game or produce some sort of digital art that appeals to a specific audience. So whatever program you create, though, you need to um, do a good job describing it. And we'll practice this quite a few times throughout the year. This allows students to engage in the study of computer science from a creative perspective. Students will provide evidence of their knowledge of important programming concepts, such as developing algorithms and using abstractions. And it's okay if you do not know what an algorithm is or an abstraction yet. We will definitely get to that. Um, but I just want to ask you, as a think right share here, of, of what I've described so far, do you have any ideas of what you might want to create? And then the other performance task, my very favorite, it is exploring the impacts of computing innovations. Um, this, tasks will, this task will ask you to apply computational analysis in the exploration of a significant computing innovation. So that's the impact of this innovation. You can um, do so many different things, artificial intelligence, self-driving cars, um, GitHub, or uh, Bitmoji, Snapchat app. You can choose any of these things related to computing to to dive into and explore the impact of it. So think right share, what are some major innovations you know of that could be a choice for this exploration task? You can already start getting an idea on day one of what your um, last days in class will look like. Nice introduction to what computer science principles class is. We'll watch that in class. And then um, in terms of reading, here's some more details about the AP course. Uh, here's our DOL for the day. So demonstrate you have learned something. Um, tell me what it'll take from you to be successful in this class. And also tell me what you'll need from me to be successful. And with any time left over, if you'd like to visit the College Board website, that can give you even more details about this particular class.